this weekend I am going to be showing you how I am a spectator during marathon weekend and you can pretty much use this for any run Disney race. So let's go to the races. It is officially time to go to the first race. Ugh, cannot forget a Red Bull. The dogs are all set for the morning. We got their food and water dishes ready, their toys. Got a little chair set up so they can get up and down off the bed. They are pretty good jumpers, but these beds are quite high, so had to give them a little help. But. Josh has got his little snack pile there. He's finishing up getting his coffee ready. It's the worst coffee in the world. Oh, but he also looks like he's like tired. <laughs> for some reason, I am always like awake and ready to go for these things. I do not understand why. I wasn't probably about 10 minutes ago. I was definitely Still feeling a little grumpy <laughs> because it was so early, but now I'm all set. So each day pickup for the buses at the resorts is around three o'clock. You can actually check on the Run Disney website. Um, sometimes it does change day to day, just depending on what time the races start, but it's typically around three o'clock every morning. Heading up to the main lobby, that's where the bus is gonna be picking us up. And our room is pretty close to the main lobby, so this was a, only like a three minute walk maybe for us to get over here. Depending what resort you are staying at, it's also gonna depend where the buses pick you up. Because when we stayed at Caribbean Beach in the past, the bus will actually go around to every single stop at the resort. And that's actually why we chose not to stay there because Sometimes those buses are full by the time they pick you up if you're at the last stop. And we were at like either the last stop or the next to last stop. So at least here, and we've also stayed at um, Art of Animation and Animal Kingdom Lodge during race weekends, and they pick you up at the main lobby only. So that was much more convenient that we, you know, didn't have to wait for the next bus. But there's Run Disney signs like this all over the place. And it is three o'clock now, so we're probably gonna be getting on one of the first buses here. So we just got off the bus at Epcot, and this morning, they're doing something we have not seen them do before. They actually dropped us off at the bus stop. I don't think Josh knows I'm recording towards him right now. Uh, <laughs> They dropped us off at their regular Epcot bus stop and then we're walking up to security like underneath the monorail. But there's a lot of people here already. It's crazy. Like when you're at your resort and there's nobody walking around in the lobby, it's like almost a little bit eerie. And then you get here and like everybody's already up and ready to go. Look at Spaceship Earth. What a beautiful view to start the morning. Josh's coffee has definitely not kicked in yet, but my Red Bull. I didn't even drink that too away. Did you really? It's awful. I'm going home today. I'm bringing my own stuff. I can go get it. It's terrible. But like I showed you at the hotel, these are the signs that you need to look for everywhere. Hey Josh. But well, we are still making our way out to the starting line which is clear at the back of the far corner parking lot of Epcot. So I was just thinking as we were walking out here that it's actually really nice temperature right now. I do have a jacket on, Josh has a jacket on, but it rained during wine and dine a few months ago and it was freezing cold. Like I had a winter coat on and a raincoat over top and wore rain boots, like it was freezing. So I pretty much know when we get to the race, I'm on my own. <laughs> Even though the race doesn't start for a while and Josh doesn't need to be in the corral for a while, we get here and he's got one thing on his mind and that is getting into the corral because he wants to be at the very front. So I still have to take a picture 
of the finish line and he is gone. So I will see if I can find him before he gets in the crowd, hopefully, but we'll see, I guess. So those big balloon signs, you will see those everywhere along with signs just like this that literally direct you where you need to go. So there's no way you are gonna get lost. There's signs to the starting line, there's signs to the finish line, there's signs for gear check for the runners. Um, but today we're kind of mostly focused on being a spectator. So I'm just showing you what I'm doing when I get here. So it can be kind of loud because they do have a DJ back here. Um, so I'm gonna try and talk right into the mic as much as I can. But if it gets a little loud, I am sorry. <laughs> we found Josh. <laughs> so here's the thing with Josh. He doesn't talk much in the mornings. It takes a while for him to like warm up. Where once I'm awake, I'm awake and I'm ready to go. All right, Josh is heading into the corrals. So this is where we part for the next few hours because it's still a while until he actually starts. Ooh, to the yeah. right! Bye, Josh! <laughs> so this is where runners go and I cannot. So they actually just opened this up. Woo! <laughs> they just opened up the corrals to be able to actually go in. So we got here like perfect timing. So Josh is already in there and like I said, runners only beyond this point. Where I will be going is over there. There's a little purple balloon and it says start line spectator viewing. So that's where I'll be going shortly. I'm not gonna go quite yet because I just wanna walk around a little bit first. Before I head into the spectator viewing area, I am running to the bathroom. And bathrooms here for the races are all of these porta potties that are everywhere. Good morning, bright and early. <laughs> I like don't have my glasses on, so I'm like, <laughs> like I'm not gonna be able to see her. <laughs> Bryson and Crystal are going into the starting line. We'll see you after. Good, have fun. <laughs> Officially heading to the starting line. I am normally at the starting line way before this, um, but Josh is really far back in the corrals, so I'm hoping that like people will eventually move out from the front and I can just sneak into those spots, but. I don't even know how many people are over here. I can't really see like the spectator area, but we're heading in. Okay, so this is pretty crazy. I'm coming up onto the starting line and normally this is jam packed full of people. And these bleachers are like empty. This is crazy. All right, I see Josh up at the starting line. You can't see him on the video. He's like way over here on the side, but he's coming. This is the start of the very last corral. Josh! Hi, oh no! Goodbye. Hi! Of course, the focus on the camera decided to not work properly right as Josh ran by. At least it's just a 5K. Hopefully I can get him better the other days. I thought I had it all ready to go. I focused it on people that came before him so that I was like ready and I knew he was gonna be right at the front and just didn't work, so that made me sad. But I'm still standing here at the starting line. We have, I have some more friends that are gonna be coming, so I'm trying to get all the people that I know that are racing today. <laughs> Woo! <Woo>! Yes! <laughs> yeah. I have seen all my people now. So I'm going to the finish line, which is a little bit of a trek. Got to walk back through the parking lot, past all the corrals, through where all the tents were at, and then through part of more of the parking lot to the finish line. But this is what I do as a spectator. So Josh is running, he did, he's doing his live stream. So you'll be able to watch the replay of that. And we're going to the finish line where we wait. But this will be the shortest wait of the whole weekend from the starting line to the finish line because this is the shortest race, obviously. <laughs> so actually, as you can see here, there are people that have finished the 5K already, which the people that started in Corral 1 at five o'clock, that would make sense that they're definitely finished by now because it's been an hour since the official race started. And 
people that are up at the front are probably running a 5k in like 20 25 minutes so not taking them long at all to get done with this race like i said shortest race of the weekend and i see people with their medals and their little snack boxes already but we got to walk through the whole reunion area here till we get to the finish <laughs> he got his medal, he got his little goodie box, and because it's a little chilly today, they gave them the little Mylar blankets too, Freezing. so uh, we are heading to the bus, which is on the other side of the parking lot. It's not at where we got dropped off at, so always just follow the signs for the buses. Look for the signs for your resort. Ours is this way. So we have made it back to Port Orleans Riverside and we're gonna hang out for a little while, try and get some rest, relax a little bit, and we'll be back at this again tomorrow morning. So it is 2.30 on Friday morning. We are up getting ready to go. Josh actually went home yesterday evening and got his <laughs> coffee stuff everything to make his pour over right here in the room because he did not like the coffee that is here so it is smelling very good this morning oh it is oh man what is going on lately what's happening it's raining <laughs> Well, it stopped raining for a few minutes, and then it started again. <laughs> I will say the only thing that's good is that I at least have got a proper cup of coffee this morning. Your energy level is definitely different this morning. I'm also just gonna accept the fact that like, I'm probably not gonna be at the front of the corral today because we got here so late. And of course, like being in six, I wanna be at the front, but that's probably not gonna happen. And I'm just not going to run it very hard today, so it's what it is. <laughs> they just started playing Drip Drip Drop Little April Showers, which is <laughs> kind of hilarious since it's raining right now. <laughs> Kate's prepared for the rain. We were not. <laughs> She's more seasoned. I guess so. <laughs> We're not. I should have brought it. I did. I We're about slackers, it. I guess. Whatever. All, all the friends are here now. Everybody's ready. Oh, Val and Amy are here too. Yep, we're all ready. We're all set. <laughs> Isn't that my family friendly channel? Does Amanda run her walk these days or What's, what's happening manager? here? Yeah, she doesn't. She's just man. Like, she's okay. just man. What's happening here, Josh? They're not meeting. What's he supposed to do it? You don't have to run with that. Wait, wait, wait. Hurricane City, go call you. I'll wait on you for a minute, because I'm, okay. I'm three corrals ahead of them. I know. Bye. Have fun. We'll see you. Stay to the left. So it is now 4.30, and they are letting us go down to the starting line as spectators. So yesterday, I didn't go over to the starting line till like 4.45, so it was already like opened up. I didn't have to wait for them to allow us to go over, so. We are heading over with everybody else that is spectating. So we have made it to the starting line and I'm at the exact same place that I was yesterday for the 5K. So 5K and 10K, I only go to the starting line and then straight to the finish line. So we are here waiting. Josh is in Corral 6, but Crystal and some other people, James and Brenda, Kate, O'Malley, <laughs> all the friends are in other corrals. So just watching and waiting. <laughs> and 
they are off. And we are also off. We are heading to the finish line. It is still very loud here because there are still people going from Corral 6. It's almost everybody is out, almost. Um, but everybody that we were watching today is out. Josh t is live streaming again. He's live streaming every race this weekend. And today he's running with our friends Todd, Debbie, and Val. And I think they're probably gonna do like a walk run. Josh said he's just kind of going with the flow today. So we'll see how it goes and we'll see him at the finish line. They have finished the 10K. We waited at the finish line for quite some time, but we now have this beautiful sunrise that we saw coming up behind Mickey Mouse. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. Uh, but now we gotta go find them. They're getting their medals and their snacks, and then we'll take some pictures, of course. Ah, what an exciting morning. So, stood at the finish line for a while, now gonna walk down to the end. The buses are in a different spot today, so always look for the red balloons when you're looking for the buses to go back to your resort after a race. Hey, I love my wife so much. We found them all. You would have been scared to show up if you had Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. All right, we got our pictures. Josh's gotta put his jacket back on because he's cold now because it's chilly out and he was hot, he was sweaty, but now the sweaty is cold sweaty. <laughs> it's kind of how that goes. So now we gotta find our bus, which like I said, the buses are in a different spot today. So like I said, run Disney events, always just look for the signs. Right here is the sign that tells you what buses are going where. We are Port Orleans, so we are going to number six over here. It is almost 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> we had to get up at like 1.30ish today. Well, I did, because I braided my hair. And we're ready to head to the bus stop. Buses are picking up at 2.30 today, so we're going early. So something different with the half marathon and the full marathon. I do not watch the starting line. So there's technically no reason for me to even walk back here to the reunion area because I'm just gonna have to go back to the monorail anyway to go to Magic Kingdom. However, you can't get into Magic Kingdom until like five or 5.30 anyway. So I'm just kind of hanging around. So I am gonna go back here. So I'm not just standing up front waiting to get on the monorail to go to Magic Kingdom. And the other thing is, I don't want to wait and take the very last bus to get over here. Because you're probably like, why did you even come over this early then? Well, I wanted to not risk getting stuck in traffic. Because I think the last bus like leaves around 4.30. But they also start closing down the roads at 4.30. So it starts to get a little backed up. So I did not want to have to deal with that. I'd rather just get here and hang out. We are heading to the monorail now and there are a ton more people walking in, which is kind of crazy because it's 423 and the race starts at five o'clock. <laughs> so I guess some people just waited a little longer to go get on the bus this morning. <laughs> so we walked from the back of the parking lot up to the front of Epcot. Get a lot of the little view of Spaceship Earth here, but there's a sign right here. We are going to the monorail this way. This is one of my favorite views during marathon weekend or any race weekend really where I have to ride the monorail is seeing Spaceship Earth from up here. to Magic Kingdom and I know I keep saying we today I am watching with our friend Bryson and Roger uh, we've got Josh running with Val and Donald and then Taylor and Kim are running and Crystal and then we have a bunch of other friends that are running with Dragon Master Foundation so we're trying to look out for all of them but we're making our way up Main Street USA this is 
an exciting time. We got the first runners coming through. Crazy. We got some more. Wow, there's a lot together. Josh and Don. real quick so this year was a little bit different at Magic Kingdom so you still could come in without a park ticket before park opening watch the runners come through however you can only stand on Main Street USA this year in the past go back and check out some of our old videos um, you could actually go clear up into the hub right in front of Cinderella Castle and you can actually watch your runner come through twice so you could watch them run up Main Street USA and then you can actually kind of switch over to the other side and watch them come out through the castle, which was really cool to see that. But they kind of changed it up a little bit this year, so you can't do that. So we only watch them come out Main Street, so that's why we're heading to Epcot now. So we are walking right back over to where I started the morning, except there was nobody over here this morning. And now everybody is here. We are at the finish line. So we're gonna end up finding a spot up in here somewhere. It's gonna be a lot more crowded today than every other day. Um, but the thing is, once people's runners go by, they typically move out of the way. So spaces open up pretty quick. You just gotta keep an eye out for a spot to open. I found all my finishers, not all of them, but a few of them, they made it. It is Sunday and that means it's time for the marathon. We are all finished in the reunion area. We just kind of hang back there because we are waiting till we can actually get into Magic Kingdom. So it's a little after four right now. So Bryson and I are heading over to the monorail and we're gonna head to Magic Kingdom. Uh, gonna see if maybe we can get a different spot today than we did yesterday. We'll see how it goes. Made it to the TTC and I've pretty much done this the last two days now, I guess. But when you ride the Epcot monorail, it takes you to the TTC, not directly to Magic Kingdom. So you do have to switch monorails if I did not tell you that already. On the dot. So we have made it to Magic Kingdom. Just as we got here, it was like 4.59. It turned to five o'clock and they let us in. So we got here perfect timing this morning. A couple minutes later than yesterday. So I was a little afraid we might not be right up next to the road. However, we got a better view than yesterday, in my opinion, because we are sitting right in front of the Christmas tree. This is the spot that I very first watched Josh run the marathon in 2016, I think. Um, and I've watched it here before, but you have a perfect view of the castle. You can watch them come in from the park. It's like right on the turn by the confectionery. So it's like my favorite. Um, but, oh, oh. So something I wanted to talk about real quick is the runner's tracker. Uh, so this is on the Run Disney app. I think it's through Ch Track Shack officially, uh, but you can actually track your runner. You just search them in up there. Uh, you can find the link on Run Disney's website. There's one for every single race that they do. Um, but then it'll tell you like their predicted times. 
So there's also the map option as well. If you click it down there at the bottom, it'll show you approximately where your runner's at. So there's like checkpoints through on the map um, that picks up on your runner's bib. There's like a little chip thingy, I forget what they're called, um, but it's able to pick up the runner on there and tell you where they're at. So we're in Magic Kingdom. Just like up in here so we're between yeah we're about between miles 10 and 11 ish somewhere in there clear up a magic kingdom so yeah we're like right here so we're between 10 and 11 exactly Josh! i wasn't ready for you I wasn't ready. this is the best sign i've seen all day yes oh perfect yes you'll see it in there <laughs> so we some pictures of him uh, but we're walking up Main Street hopefully I'm in focus I really don't know uh, <laughs> but we're gonna see if we can see him running out from the castle yeah we definitely did not see Josh come out from the castle so like I said from during the half marathon they actually aren't letting you up into the castle hub area so you can't get close enough to see them coming out from the castle I tried to zoom in on my phone but I think I missed him I think he was through before I had my phone ready to go. So it's okay though, because it's still exciting seeing all the other runners come out from the castle. The express monorail from Magic Kingdom to the Ticket and Transportation Center, the line is looking very long. I'm sure it moves decently fast, but there's not like anybody over here on the resort monorail line. So we are gonna take this monorail instead because the second stop we made it to Epcot. We actually rode the monorail around three times <laughs> because we had some time to kill, uh, but there's definitely people finishing now and we're just gonna go hang out down by the finish line. We have a little while still until we see Josh or Crystal at the finish line and Val, Josh is running with our friend Val today. So uh, yeah, still trekking along with the live stream, but we're just gonna be down here waiting it out. Josh, Val, and Crystal have all finished the marathon. So exciting. Josh had over a thousand people watching while he crossed the finish line. It was amazing. So now we gotta go find him and see how he's doing. <laughs> Yay! He did so good. You okay? This is the yeah, typical like, reaction. My phone was gonna die and I was like, I gotta cross I'm sorry. It. I just, I just asked Josh. More than I did last time. What was that? I said that I would, I would do it again. But the problem is, is that every time I say that I say I'm gonna train better than the year I did before. Yeah. That never happens. Yeah, he always says every year, oh, I'm not doing it again, I'm not doing it again. And then he always signs up. And I just asked him and he said, I said, will you sign up again? And he's like, probably. So that's the first time he said that. That's surprising. 